Shut up, Smarks. Bring Ross free ducks. No, I won't tap out. I won't tap out. All of you butthurt suck. Just stop watching Raw. Stop watching Raw. This is Fatboy Mark Cabroni. Oh, God. I thought I got rid of this guy. The whole, I mean, well, I'm, I, I've been sick for the past month, so I haven't heard from him for the past month, so I guess I was just getting used to not... Anyway, if you can have your attention for a moment, I just received an email from a ridiculous Ring Rust General Manager. Nice to have you back. For a minute, I thought you were drafted to SmackDown. LOL. You're a dork. But two people were drafted... To or call up to, I guess, SmackDown from uh, NXT. I understand uh, Ty Dillinger ranked his uh, send off from NXT somewhere between 9 and 11, somewhere in that area. And he qualified it. Kurt Henning might have qualified it. Absolutely. And uh, also Shinsuke Nakamura got called up to SmackDown as well. And he said uh, sayonara to uh, NXT in his own way as well. And there's videos posted to the Sea Tomorrow's Ring Rust Facebook page. Click on like if you haven't already and scroll on down there. Check those out via the official WWE's YouTube page. So check them out. You are listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. So uh, if you want to check out the story I'm about to read from, it's a bit of a long story, so I'm not going to read the whole thing because I'd rather let the music do the talking. Anyone who's listened to my morning show, the Friday Morning Markout, will understand that I don't like reading longer stories because it's me talking a lot and playing less music. So if you want to follow along with the story, uh, pop on over to the CHMR's Ring Rust Facebook page, click on like if you haven't already, and scroll on down to uh, MGM TV Partners with Women of Wrestling for Unscripted Programming. And that's brought to us by Variety.com. MGM Television has secured a deal with Women of Wrestling, also known as WOW, to produce a range of unscripted programming, Variety has learned. WOW was founded by Dave McLean, who previously launched the wrestling promotion The Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling, a.k.a. GLOW, in the 1980s. The latter promotion will also be the subject of a Netflix scripted series of the same name, which premieres on June 23rd. McLean, who is also the president of WOW, will work with MGM TV president Mark Burnett, and MGM's head of unscripted programming, Barry Potsnick. The head of unscripted programming? Just give us shows that we don't need to write anything for and give it to that guy. Take that room away from him because he's no longer a janitor. To create content across networks, digital platforms, cable, and multicast networks. This is MGM TV's third partnership with the sports arena with Lucha Underground in this third season and its previously announced partnership with the Drone Racing League. My God, the Drone Racing League. I'm I'm gonna stop right there. I just I don't think I can manage to go any further. I'm just gonna I'm stopping right there. Drone Racing League has just ruined it for me now. So drone racing anyway, so yeah. I've seen uh, numerous uh, ads coming through from their actual Facebook page, the Women of Wrestling. I did enjoy the product that they put out for one season back in 2000. Oh, well. At least it was something. So I do see that one of my favorites is actually uh, coming back as well. The heavy metal maniac herself, April Little John, otherwise known as Riot. You're listening to Ring Rush Redux on Gerbronology TV. Want to follow along the story I'm about to read from, or read part of, because, again, I don't like reading long articles, and this is still kind of a long article. So I'll get, I'll give you the gist of it, and then if you want to continue reading it, go right ahead while I'm playing some music. So if you want to follow along and finish reading the article I'm about to read from, pop on over to the CHMR's Ring Rust Facebook page, click on link if you haven't already, and scroll on down to how DIY could transcend 205 Live and Monday Night Raw. Brought to us by HollywoodsWorldOfSports.com. A few short weeks ago, when the WWE Superstar Shakeup took place, we saw stars switch to brands, and NXT stars got called up. 
The tag team divisions and women's divisions both look completely different on each show now, and it will make for new stories and matches. Two superstars who the author of this story was really surprised not to see were Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano, as known collectively as DIY in NXT. After losing the tag team titles back in January and not regaining them back during WrestleMania weekend, one has to wonder if the, what's left for them in NXT. Right now, NXT has the Office of Pain, Sanity, Heavy Machinery, Ely Brothers, and M- TM61 when they come back from injury. Unless DIY is going to win back the NXT tag team titles, then they need to be moved up, according to the author anyway. Some Gargano and Ciampa debuted in WWE in September of 2015 and have had some incredible matches. They beat the living tar out of each other in the in Cl- Cruiserweight Classic and had some very classic matches with the Revival. They proved to be a hot commodity in two separate divisions, which is why they need to be moved to Monday Night Raw. Gargano has held the titles in Chikara, Dragon Gate slash Evolve, and AIW. Ciampa held the Ring of Honor TV Championship along with holding titles in multiple promotions. Uh, the author brings up their resume because it is a resume that could make a huge difference in the Monday Night Raw on Monday Night Raw and 205 Live. So another reason I'm going to stop reading there is I don't think Joey Williamson proofread his article because I had to correct him a few times there. And Well, anyway, quote, journalism, unquote. I'm going to leave it at that. If you want to read, or attempt anyway, to read the rest of that article, there it is. Fill your boots, give it your best go, and try not to hurt your brain too much. This is a great catch! You're listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. So if you want to follow along the story I'm about to read from, it's not too long, I guess. I can probably get through the whole thing because it's big text too and it's it only scrolls so far. So it's not that big of a story, like large, I mean. And that's brought to us by Sportskita. I don't know what. Or Sportskita? I don't know. What is that term? Anyway, Mike Johnson of uh, PW Insiders reporting that Ken Anderson has signed a deal with Ring of Honor. Anderson will make his debut on April 28th in Hopkins, Minnesota, where he will challenge Marty Scroll for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. Anderson is, was known as Mr. Kennedy in uh, the WWE, and of course by his real name in Impact Wrestling, as I said. He was the on the cusp of becoming a major star in the WWE until he botched a move. <sighs> until he was fired by WWE, because I don't go for the whole botched thing, because I'm almost 100% certain that Jeremy Bennett never worked for any wrestling promotion ever. So, in my opinion, might be I might be the only one in my position who has that opinion, but in my opinion, those who haven't worked within the wrestling industry in any capacity really shouldn't be using our terms. Anyway, according to Anderson, Orton and Cena launched a complaint to Vince McMahon that sealed his fate with the company. Well, whether or not that's true, I don't know. So, anyway. Ken will add to the veteran presence of Ring of Honor's locker room. Bully Ray debuted for the promotion last month after signing a one-year deal. With a number of performers leaving Impact Wrestling, it's not a stretch to think that more veterans will make their way to Ring of Honor, or in some cases, back to Ring of Honor. After the event in in, uh, Minnesota, ROH will tape television next on uh, May 14th. It will be a few weeks before you see Anderson on the weekly television program, but there's a chance that he could take part in the next War of the Worlds pay-per-view on May 12th. Well, given what I do here on Ring Rust, I play music. I read read wrestling news and then play music relating to it. And I'm big into the actual music of wrestling, so I'm curious as to what theme song they're going to end up using. I'm sure it will be something original. It almost had to be something original, I guess. But I imagine something by Adam Massacre, perhaps. Anyway, I know he won't be using any of his past themes, which is kind of disappointing. Because he had some pretty interesting theme, he had some pretty nice theme songs, like Airborne, for instance. 
You're listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. You want to pop on over to the See Tomorrow's Ring Rust Facebook page, uh, click on a link if you haven't already, and scroll on down to Week in Wrestling, Cody Rhodes' Major Decision. Brought to us by um, Sports Illustrated, SI.com. SI.com's Week in Wrestling is published every Wednesday and provides beneath the surface coverage of the business of pro wrestling. This edition includes the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes discussing his current project and upcoming decision. The Young Bucks officially declaring themselves the best tag team in the world. The shoot with former WWE ring announcer Justin Roberts. The Nitro Files with Eric Bischoff. New Japan Pro Wrestling's Michael Elgin discusses Tetsuya Naito. And Five Questions with Hornswoggle. So, yeah, okay. So that's the whole thing. You can go and read all that. And, yeah. I thought it was actually only going to be about Cody Rhodes and it would be a short blurb and then that would be that. But, oh well. So, it's a whole bunch. If you want to pop on over to SI.com. Via the CH Mirrors Ring Rust Facebook page. I made it easy for you. It's right there. Just click on the link and um, go ahead and uh, give it a gander. This is 93.5 CHMR FM. Now, time for this week's Macho Fact. The only thing that can break Randy Savage is Randy Savage. And the Macho Man can have his cake and eat it too. on Facebook, tinyearl.com slash rayrust. Follow me on Twitter at Mark Jabroni and subscribe to Jabronology TV, youtube.com slash fanboy Mark Jabroni. Now, the next story I'm not really going to necessarily read about. I'm just going to point you towards it, and you can go read it, because it's 15 women whose Instagram accounts are more exciting than their wrestling careers. So, I'm not really going to read all... I'm not even going to read the intro to it if you're interested in it. If you're interested in women... Tick, 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 tick. Then go ahead, by all means, and check out this article. Well... I just lobbied the softball over to your side of the court, so let's see what happens. One in particular kind of surprised me and kind of didn't surprise me, I guess. She's not using it. it. It doesn't look as though, and it's not surprising, of course, that she's not using it the same way as the other women use it. Well, actually, two of them probably aren't using it the same way the other women are using it. Most of the other women are using it to, you know, show off their physiques, and one of them, Nia Jack, certainly isn't doing so. She's got body issues and she's still a lovely lady and I wouldn't mind seeing more pictures like that of her personally but the one I'm mainly speaking of is actually Mickey James who's being a total mom on her Instagram apparently the, the, the one picture they chose for it showed her with her kid at Wrestlemania so that's the one I'm, that's the one that popped right out of me because what's the, it's the most different of all of them of course she's being a total mom as well she should be you are listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. Oh, coming through. Sorry. Oh, that's things. I beg your pardon. Oh. Ah. Because men talk wills it so. Proceed. <laughs> you there. What's your story? I'm Ernie Devlin, and I don't question it. Oh, oh, I like that. Don't budge. I'm taking your mind. <laughs> mind encryption, perhaps? You are listening to Ring Rust Redux on Gerbronology TV. Now, 
Impact Wrestling, a subsidiary of Anthem Sports and uh, Entertainment Corp, recently unveiled details about the landmark alliance announced last month with Promotions Antonio Peña S.A. De CV. And then I realized I wasn't done with the names. Like, oh, I got to keep going. The owner of Lucha Libre AAA, Mexico's pre- preeminent re- professional wrestling organization, founded in 1992. The alliance coincides with a mutual milestone as the year marks the 15th anniversary of Impact Wrestling and 25th anniversary of Lucha Triple A. And uh, also recently announced was the fact that um, Global Force Wrestling is also joining forces with Impact. So, hmm, could be that Impact is becoming the new uh, WWF, amalgamating all these promotions. Well, that's not a... It's not amalgamating, it's just it's a, an alliance. So, with AAA. Uh, excuse me, uh, I'm not AAA, I'm AA. Oh, hi, uh, hi, uh, hi, hi, Aaron, how you doing? So, what do you think about, what do you think about this, this arrangement? Uh, I'm going to hold up these four fingers. Okay, so, oh, now he's holding up three fingers. He's a fan of the Dudley Boys, apparently. And now he's flipping me off in Britain. And now he's flipping me off in North America. Thanks, Aaron. That's really polite of you. Like me on Facebook, tinyearl.com slash ringrust. Follow me on Twitter at Mark Jabroni. And subscribe to Jabronology TV. YouTube.com slash fanboy Mark Jabroni. So, coming up for Beyond Wrestling on April 29th in Enfield, Connecticut, uh, Lufisto, Waka Waka, will be taking on uh, Penelope Ford. I don't know if it's for a title, doesn't look like. So want more information, pop on over to any of their Facebook pages. Beyond Wrestling, I'm sure, has a Facebook page. Lefisto certainly has a, her own Facebook page, which is where I'm reading this from. That's it for another show, kiddies. Check me out on Facebook, where you can keep track of all the news that's right on the mark, from around ringside to the latest concerts. See you at the shows. Later days. This is 93.5 CHMRFM.